Hey guys, for just listening, it's finally official. The quad core processor from Nvidia. It's here, and we already do know it's here. You know, we have this first quad core tablet that's going to, gonna, going to be the Asus EPad Transformer Prime, and then we do know like the first leaked HD smartphone is also going to be using Nvidia's new processor, the Nvidia Tegra 3, also codenamed the Cal L1. Now Nvidia have gone out and officially unveiled it. This ARM Cortex A9 Tegra 3 processor uh, that produced much less power or you know use less you know power and stuff like that that's good for your battery it's very good so what's so special about this okay first of all nvidia have uh, uh, uploaded a new video on their official uh, youtube channel and showing off like three games and the amazing things with this new tegra 3 processor now first of all it offers like three times uh, the graphics of the Tegra 2 processor um, so you get some pretty insane stuff that you can do with this now it also comes with this new thing that you might might say like oh the battery it's, it's gonna be drained like in no seconds well it comes with a new technology called like five you, you have like five cores uh, so first you have four cores you know those that you would use when you do heavy stuff and then uh, like heavy stuff like gaming and do all of these things but when let's say you're making a call and you don't need to use all of those four cores they have a companion core so you basically have like a fifth CPU or a fifth core uh, that's helping when you don't require that much power um, then they will only use this one core but when you do need the extra power uh, all of those other four cores will be used and this is amazing because this is awesome if you don't if you don't do that much if you use call and stuff like that then you don't want to drain your battery as quick so that's one of the cool things with this new nvidia tegra 3 processor it also comes with this new uh technology called vsmp uh that will help you Th that's basically this fifth core thingy uh, but 2012 is going to, be, going to be kind of like the year when we are going to get more quad core stuff or actually we're going to get the first quad core devices out there on the market and uh, when I'm talking about devices now I know you know obviously computers have quad cores but now I'm talking about like tablets, smartphones, you know portable stuff yes I do know we have laptops with quad cores but that's not as cool as this. So if you want to go ahead and watch the video where they basically talk about three games to show off the cool effects like motion blur effect and everything that you can do, uh, then I'm gonna leave that in the description if you want to click on this video. Maybe annotation if I'm if I remember that. But uh, it's it's awesome. This is gonna help uh, a lot to improve the graphics on Android because I always think that uh, Android has been being a little bit behind uh ios and stuff like that and ios have good graphics with that a5 processor so it's going to be nice here you know have a, like a real comparison it would be nice to compare like the ipad 2 versus the tegra 3 and then i know all of you guys are going to say that yeah that's not fair and uh, yes that may be the case but that but you know you always want to compare what's out on the market right now uh, but next year 2012 it's going to be a fun year with a lot of quad core stuff see you guys